All right. Uh, just uh, this weekend, I went to the Boyang Mud Festival. Uh, it was pretty, pretty epic. I only went for one day. I think that was a good decision. Um, but basically, the Mud Festival. It it happens once a year for like two weeks. But the first week is the best week. You got to go then. Um, and uh, it's in this place called Boryang, in on the east or west coast of Korea. And uh, at the festival, it's all about covering yourself in therapeutic mud. Um, sounds a little strange, but whatever. You're in the country once, do it. Um, yeah, the mud is actually kind of this gray clay paste. It's not even brown. Um, I didn't cover my whole body with it. Lots of people did. I just covered my hands and my arms and my face. Uh, and, uh, yeah, my, my, my hands are quite silky smooth. Um, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and, you know, the mud washed off easily. A lot of people did, like, color mud. Um, and, yeah, at the festival, it was all about just basically drinking alcohol and covering yourself in mud. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's, like, mud wrestling pits, mud water slides, lots of mud things. Um, so, you know, really, after, like, an hour with the mud, I was kind of over it. Uh, but thankfully, uh, it was totally awesome, because I went with this group of people called uh, Manam. It's this, like, group of international people here in Dejan who all, like... I guess the whole point of the group is, like, achieve world peace. Really, it's achieve world peace through a giant party. And that's great. Sure. Um, hit me up, world peace. Let's just have fun together. Um, and yeah, so uh, I went with this group, and they had this flash mob dance. And uh, after the flash mob dance, it just kind of broke down into a impromptu dance on the beach with club music and techno music and I loved it uh, so yeah th there I was just uh, in, in a great mental state dancing with like I don't know a thousand people from various countries mostly Korea and uh, yeah I mean it was really fun being there with all the Manam people because you know there's they're just uh, they're they're a really fun bunch of people you know it definitely had me entertained the whole time um, and it really made me realize something that I've kind of known my whole life, that it doesn't matter what you're doing, it's who you're doing it with. I've said this phrase many times, like, you know, I could be in Disneyland with, you know, one of the dudes in a fraternity that I hated in college, or I could be out in the middle of a desert with one of my best friends. Where would I have more fun? Disneyland with a douchebag, or in the middle of the desert with, you know, somebody who I've known my whole life. Like, well, I mean, we hopefully we wouldn't be in an extreme, possibly deadly situation in the desert. But, um, what I'm trying to say is, it, I would choose the desert, because I, I just really love getting good vibes from people. And, you know, if, uh, yeah, you just gotta surround yourself with fun, good people. I think that's kind of the big purpose in life. And, uh, yeah, I had a great, great time. So hopefully I can do more exciting things like that. Uh, yeah, because we, we, after the Mud Festival, we all went out to dinner, and uh, the dinner was great. Definitely, like, got to talk with a lot of the people in the group. And then there was this spontaneous dance party on top of picnic tables, which I partook in as well. Um, yeah, there was belly dancers who were in full belly dancer garb, just shaking it. Oh, it was, it was a fun time. Uh, it, but, you know, I still am glad I only did one day. I, I don't think I had the stamina to do a two-day event. I've, I've never been the, the kind for the long-haul party. I'm kind of the the sprint, and then, oh, I need a day to recover. So, um, yes. Overall, Boy Young Mud Festival, one day, A+. Plus. Two days, I, uh, well, you know, you kind of get over the mud uh, in, like, an hour. It's like, oh, I'm covered in mud, yay. Uh, so, um, yeah. Silky smooth hands. Peace out.